I chose to attend an HBC. I chose an HBCU. So I decided to go to HBCU. I chose to go to HBCU. It wasn't that I chose to, to go to an HBCU, an HBCU chose me. I always knew that I was going to go to college. I always knew that I was going to go to an HBCU. Well, HBCUs often give off the vibe of intelligent, cooperating, successful black people who have a desire to do greater things in this world. There's always this concentration on developing our community. We live in a society where there's often the stigma of uneducated African American males. That's often the prevailing sort of narrative in the nation. Me and most of my cousins are in college right now and I wanted to just expound on that and go a place where I can be surrounded by like-minded people. That could sort of encourage me to succeed and rise along with them. And HBCU is not just for uh, African Americans. It is for the, the underlying theme that anybody who is welcome should go to an HBCU. Every shoe doesn't fit every person, so it would make sense to find a shoe that fits you best. I don't mean to sound cliche, but I like being around my people. I just wanted to experience something different from uh, my hometown. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I went to an all-white high school, and it was kind of being the outcast. I come from California where most of the public school systems are like 70% white and Asian. I cried my first day. I cried in the car and I called my mom. I told her I couldn't do it. But once I got there and I sat in the classroom and I saw students raise their hand and who weren't afraid to answer questions like I was in high school, it opened my eyes. So I decided to go to HBCU to kind of experience more of the black culture that I felt that I didn't get. I knew that attending an HBCU would better aid in my goal of disseminating knowledge throughout um, the African American community. I think it's cool too because I go to HBCU but I'm a Latino man. So <laughs> They had experiences that I never had and I had experiences that I could share and we just we bonded that way. I went to like a predominantly white school and I lived in a small town so just learning more about me, myself, and my image was my mango. It's very important to know where you came from. Being a part of majority is underrated. My HBCU is full of very rich history. You meet people there that have history, that have substance behind them. We have our own system we can set up and serve our own people for our own benefits and education. It's more of a historical and personal point of education. It's really been a lot more about understanding myself as a person and less about, you know, being black or being this and being that. It's okay, this is who you are in this world. This is how you're viewed and this is how you could make a change upon it. Now it's about who are you authentically. For a lot of us, it's like our first time away from home. The support that you gain from HBCU um, is truly unparalleled. I didn't want to be just another number. I have gotten a lot more hands-on experience and the teachers are a lot more willing to work with you. You can walk down the street, know each other. So it's not just a relationship with the classmate, it's a relationship where you all are friends or associates and it extends outside of the classroom. And it's not the family like your blood family that you grew up with, but it's this other family that you kind of um, have and it's, it's really great because you know family is important. Our campus is, what, 3,000 students? including commuters. So the class sizes are probably 20, 20 students. So the environment is intimate with sufficient wiggle room. Everybody really bonds and clicks together. People are pushed. They push each other. They push each other to succeed. They teach me how to respect myself. Like when I see alumni coming back and they teach me how to respect my HBCU as well and my roots. To be able to sit down with a professor and not just feel rushed. Everything I wrote, she double and triple marked through with red and kind of, at the time I felt like she was tearing my papers apart. But now when I look at my writing compared to the writing that I did. That's what college is, if you're gonna live your life and you're gonna travel and you're gonna do all the fun and the cool stuff and the crazy stuff and the stupid stuff and the smart stuff. You know, this is the time to do it. I mean, it's the best decision I ever made. I, I left 900 miles away from my friends and family and started a brand new journey and it's been amazing for me. I can honestly say from the last four years, you know, my college experience has really been, it's been A1. I can't complain, I'm blessed. Kimberlyn Elliott, I'm a junior at Florida A&M University. Alexandria Brooks. I am a junior biology pre-health major at Alabama State University. Cesar Cunningham. I am a graduating senior at Kentucky State University. Samara Wickfall, junior biology major from Benedict College. Christian Cruz, C-H-R-S-T-I-N, Cruz, C-O-U-Z. Uh, classification as senior. I'm actually, I graduate uh, in December. <laughs>
and the uh, school is Bethune Cookman University in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm Emily Lancaster. I'm a graduating senior from Kentucky State University. I'm Khadija Jones. I'm a junior from Bethune Cookman University. Jordan Bates. I attend Xavier University of Louisiana, and I'm a sophomore chemistry pre-pharmacy major. Diamond Watts. I am a second semester junior, and I attend Bethune Cookman University. Jonah Lavelle. I'm a senior psychology major, and I'm born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. Fatin Cooper, I'm a sophomore at Bethune Cookman University. Joshua Lavelle, senior social work major from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I attend Southern University at New Orleans. I'm Courtney Wills, I am a junior at Spelman College. I'm Scotty White, I'm from West Virginia State University. I'm a senior studying communications. I'm George Wanze, I'm a junior history major at Morehouse. I am Ayana Smith. I am a senior history major at Clark Atlanta University. David Wilson, freshman from Morehouse College. My name is DeAndre Swells. I'm a senior philosophy sociology double major from Vallejo, California. Alexandria Sutton, junior chemistry major, Spelman College.